<coughs> this is going to be a quick vid. Uh, shifting over to basketball now. It's going to be sh sweet shot 07 08 basketball from upper deck. This is going to be a pain in the ass to break without scissors. Oh, look at this. I found them. Unbelievable. All right, cool. So far, I got one. I got one really bad box, one bad tin, and one good tin. So hopefully, yep, looks like five cards. So I get a line count from the side. Okay, and here we go. Let's start off with number one, base to 350 of Ben Gordon. This dude was insane tonight for you guys who watched the end of the Chicago Boston game. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, here's a two color jersey, uh, not numbered, of uh, Fred Jones. <laughs> I just love it when, like, they have the Blazers jersey and they have the Knicks logo down there. I just always think that's pretty funny. Uh, I'm gonna go to the back because that's always. Oh, look at this. You know what? I got one, two, three, four. I got six. I got six cards in this. Unbelievable. All right, let me explain something to you guys right here. You see this? Two autographs and two memorabilia cards in every tin on average. Five cards per tin. It doesn't say average of five cards per tin. It says five cards per tin. So what happens? Upper deck gives me four cards in the first tin. Five cards in the second, so of course they, I guess, decide to balance out with uh, the third one where they gave me six cards. It's funny because it's not even a case, so it's kind of interesting how that happens. There's something really wrong with the collation, and I've heard it's because, uh, I guess, the uh, place where they uh, distribute it from, or actually where the collation occurs, they uh, outsourced it over to China, and I guess they didn't used to do it there, so, and ever since they did that, they were having collation errors, so this is, I have this on uh, good sources. So that's what I last heard in case you guys were wondering. All right, it's going to be a Sweet Swatch dual jersey of uh, Richard Hamilton. Rip Hamilton and uh, Rashid Wallace. That's cool. First one, uh, auto that is, is going to be uh, number 397 of 699 of the 26th pick in the draft last year from the Houston Rockets. This guy's been playing pretty well. Aaron Brooks, basketball auto. So that's not bad at all. Next one is going to be... I actually like this guy in college, but he hasn't done anything yet in the NBA. So number 48 of 197 signature shots of Sheldon Williams, basketball auto. And the last one, a card I really shouldn't even have. <laughs> You know what? All of a sudden, now I love this product. I was hating on it on the first tin. I, I was ambivalent towards them the second one. And ladies and gentlemen, what did I hit in the redemption? Read it. Acetate Sweet Shots, Signature Shots, number 25 of, yes, you guessed it, LeBron freaking James to 25 on an acetate, no less. Oh, my God, it's actually a... Uh, <laughs> This is Sweet Shot Signature, number 25, numbered SA-LJ. I wonder what SA is. I don't know. I'm going to figure that out. That is... That's ridiculous! LeBron Acetate 25. Don't even ask me to buy it or to trade it or whatever. That is going straight into my, like, you know, keep into Lucite Magnetic Holder. That's freaking awesome. I actually thought this was a decent car to get the uh, Aaron Brooks basketball auto. And I don't usually get this pumped on camera, as you guys have noticed, but that just totally made my night. Because I opened this tin thinking, yeah, you know, it's a sweet shot, it's going to be eh, whatnot. But there it is one more time. Don't even try to look through, don't even try to use your x-ray vision doo -doo 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 to try to see the redemption code because you won't be able to see it. Acetate signature... Number to 25, LeBron James. Folks, that is all. I'm leaving. Good night. No, I'm not, actually. Next box break coming up. LeBron!